This is a But I Voice Everything video. My voices may not be the best, but I try my best, and I'll improve over time. If you can't understand what I'm saying, subtitles are available. Acts 2. Be Acts 5. No one liked anything before Act 5. He troll in bedroom, or what troll word for bedroom? That is not a name yet, so name? Name. Crack advantage. Ha <laughs> ha okay, that's enough trolls for today. Go back to Act 3. I'm not ready. Is the picture interactive? Click to find out. Jack, lament current situation. You are now Archagent Jack Noir. You oversee various affairs of a dark kingdom. You view the affairs of the kingdom through a series of fenestrated walls. You have three walls, nearly enough to form a cubicle of vigilance, which is a wall and proper enclosure for an agent of your stature. However, much to your utter contempt, your fourth wall was stolen some time ago. To add to your misfortune, it seems that, as of several minutes ago, the world has turned to complete shit. Coming from an especially irresistible Caribbean such as yourself, such an observation isn't usually noteworthy. But you're damn certain there's a deeper issue at hand today. Everything around you is disturbingly rough, discontinuous, and de undetailed. Your subordinates, and even your one superordinate, now speak and behave like incoherent toddlers who poop hard in their baby ass diapers. And worst of all, the queen herself now demands that you wear these hideous. What the hell are these even supposed to be? Pajamas? You're beginning to feel irritated, if not rancorous. What will you do? Jack! Stab Niff with other knife! You would never hurt an innocent knife. Or a guilty one, such as your own, for that matter. Besides, you're only carrying the one... Oh, hell no. You call this a knife? You couldn't even have a small child with this knife. It was nice and sharp earlier. Looks like you need to find a new one. Goddamn metaphysical anomalies. Jack, do your job. <laughs> what? Oh, oh right. You recently received reports from your agents stating that Dursite geneticists in the Vale have sighted Prospect's queen near the edge of the Incivisphere. She was all alone, no ship or anything, they said. You didn't believe that until now. You wonder what she could possibly be up to. It looks like she isn't even wearing her ring, with her, their queen missing. The Golden Kingdom is no doubt in a state of weakness. This could be an opportunity for Durst to strike. No. This could be an opportunity to claim Prospect's throne for yourself. You'd better check out the situation in the cool throne room. Who the hell is she? Well, no matter. That ring doesn't even seem to work on her. You sure you can take her out in one stab? You got no clue what the deal is with that flashy animal, though. Looks like it's got some sort of space powers. Could be what the girl used to eject the queen to the furthest regions of the Incipisphere. You better send an agent to investigate before you go barging in. You're ambitious, but being stupid ain't gonna get you nowhere. That's what the droll is for. That joke is less funny when everyone on the goddamn planet acts like the droll. Jack. Be annoyed by this yellow garbage you're having to wear. You'd prefer just about anything over this outfit. Hell, you'd rather be dressed as a fucking clown than as whatever this is supposed to be. But the queen would kill you if you refused to abide by the dress code. If your prospect operation goes smoothly, you'll dish the clothes as soon as you're free of her hideous ring. Jack, kill Blup Queen because he is an annoying bitch. Yeah, when the time is right, of course. Can't rush you thing, you know? You gotta be so dirty- OH MY GOD! Nothing's going on here, man. I'm just working on all that paperwork over there. Ha <laughs> ha, you know how it is. 
Okay, the truth is, that new look of hers kind of really creeps you the fuck out. Unless that ring comes off, you'd rather stay away from her. You'll probably just order somebody to offer later on. There's plenty of other fish out there for you to stab personally. Jack, ask AR to report back already. Alright, alright, back to business. You ask the authority regulator what the situation is with the roller coaster. He tries to tell you something, but speaks incoherently. What? You don't speak, idiot. He laughs, then tells you he doesn't get it. You inquire as to whether the damn humans are dead or not. He says something that sounds like the humans survived the attack because their roller coaster turned into three roller coasters instead of exploding. You wonder how someone can possibly be that incompetent at blowing people up. He said he was never a very good aim. You thought he was supposed to be, you don't know, an authority regulator? He murmurs something self-consciously. You ask if he at least knows where the survivors landed. You think he said that the front car landed somewhere around the house on Lolof, the middle car passed through Lolof's second gate, and the third car went to... jail? No, he said Vale. Alright. You've got one more sign for him. An easy one. Something even he should be able to do. The White Queen has been spied at the edge of the Incivisphere. She's defenseless, and she seems to be trapped by a lack of momentum. You need him to capture her and bring her to a prison cell for interrogation. You ask him if he thinks he can handle that. He mutters something. You say what? He says something about being afraid of monsters out there. Does he mean the horror terror? Is he a Dursite or not, for Billy's sake? Those things have always been harmless. He says fine, he'll see what he can do, but he sounds terrified. You tell him to be- you tell him to quit being a fucking baby, or, you, or you'll send him to the prison cell in the Queen's place. He makes a sort of whimpering noise. You've never wanted to destroy the world more than you do now. BRJ! You are now Rob's Juice! Her eighth smoke card is telling you about the Kissing Roller Coaster Kids. He says it's his OTP. He thinks it sounds really cute. You wish you had a romance like that. Here receives a message from Jack to tell you all must go to see him for a meeting of urgency. Jack, be Jack. What? You've always been Jack. You don't have time for this bullshit. You tell the group to gather around, because you've got assignments for them. Three humans seem to have entered the civic sphere on a roller coaster, but you notice the three of them starting to blush again. You tell them to wipe that future color off their faces or you'll cut it off. You scrunch up their faces like they're trying really hard to stop blushing, but they are unsuccessful. God, just never mind, you say. The, the humans don't seem to be heroes of Lolof or Lodar. You've got no idea how or why they're here, but it's time to take them out. The drill starts blushing even harder. What the fuck is it now, you ask seethingly. He says, you mean like, take them out on a date? You say no, you mean take them out like stab them until they die. He says, oh. You tell them that the blonde kid fell into Lolof's second gate. If you recall correctly, it should lead to some place on Lodar. Taking care of him will be the brute's job. The adult human disappeared into the veil. The dignitary will locate him and send him to a better place. The droll will go to Prospan and investigate the girl who inserted the throne. Be careful, you say. She's got some sort of omnipotent pet guarding her. He should put them both to the rest if he can. Otherwise, just determine their weaknesses and report back. He says, okay. He also asks you why you keep calling him the droll. You say because that's his name, the courtyard droll. He says that his name is... Rub's Juice? No, that doesn't even sound remotely similar to his name, you say. You ask him again how he could possibly fuck it up that badly. He reluctantly agrees with you about his name, but seems confused. You tell him you'll go after the nerdy looking kid on Lola. He should be near a couple of other humans. Maybe you can kill three birds with one stone, literally. Clarify that the bird part isn't literal. The kill part is, because you're going to kill them. The brute appears crestfallen. They're dismissed. Don't fuck this up, you say. You're running out of patience today. Is is Baxter interacting yet? Click to find out. B.
be Rose. You are now Rose Lalonde. John, and this ain't sexy time. Open dialogue, log, 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 log. Uh, hey Rose, I'm ready for that date. Let me just remove this. Close dialogue, log, 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 log. Rose, deactivate sexy time. No. Jahan, but, hmm, you can't seem to able to think of a rose butt? Fuck! Yes! Rose, perhaps true love's first kiss can break the spell of stupidity John's fallen under? A trite trope, true, but desperate times call for desperate measures. No. Jahan, confess your love for Rose by giving her a piece of you, something like... Say a kidney. When will they have just have six already? I would ask how it's even remotely possible for you to be in my bedroom right now, but I'm sure it's just oh fuck! What what the hell is that? Okay, never mind. I don't really wanna know. Just put it away already. It's my kidney. A present for you at date. Oh my god, there is no date. You left me to die so you could play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oops. Just go back to Dave. I'm sure he's looking for his daddy. Ah! You weren't supposed to know! Fuck! Rose, psychoanalyze John. John? Dame Rose, John, loud triangly. Who will win? You're blushing. Oh dear, are you alright? Yes, I'm just embarrassed. Please don't kiki shame me. I wasn't planning on it. Not right now, anyways. Why are you embarrassed? You were acting much more self-confident earlier. It was a rose. I'm only confident on girls on the internet. Well, there's something I can sympathize with at least. Bro, that is BS. You always are not nervous with fancy big words. Right. Me. Rose, ask John why he has been acting so strangely lately. What will happen next? Listen, I know you claim to be normal, but humor me for a moment. Do you have any memory of your life before today? Yes. Did everything around you appear the same? Did you behave the same way that you do now? Or do you remember undergoing any sort of personality shift earlier today? Um... They're talking down there. Are you looking up here, idiot? John, try to remember. Coherence. Does he remember? I... I remember. Really? <laughs> no, I have none of an idea what you're talking about. Okay, I'm going to go talk to some trolls. Now, Rose, try to find out if there are any unaffected by the nonsense amongst the trolls. All the troll tags seem to have been altered, but you remind yourself that your old chum handle had been similarly desecrated. There's still hope, no matter how minuscule, that at least one of these assholes has yet to be transformed into an unsightly amalgam of stray lines and typographical errors. Hello, honk friend! Testicle theorist screams at Turnably Cabageous! Who is this? Hi, I'm Game Tez. <laughs> hey, Game Tez, I'm Rose. How's it going? Motherfucking miracles. Honk. Indeed. I can't tell if you've been ruined or if you're supposed to act like this. Honk, honk, motherfucker. <laughs> miracles. Okay, I don't think I really want to talk to you either way. Later. Testing all the earnest is quiet and turnably commanders. Goodbye. Rose. 
Message Centurion's Test. Hello, sweat friend. Test the clear of the feelings of Centurion's Test. Hello? Hi, who presents this? Rose, one of the humans. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so, do you like Hornses present? Hornses? Hornses. Alright, I think I've heard enough. Tessigal here is my mind and Tarian's test. <sighs> Sweat. See you around. Which troll is the normal troll? You can hardly stand the suspense any longer. Rose, see if any of the other trolls are sane, starting with the GA one. Let's be insane. This is all there in space, the chums, the grim audacious. Hello. Hello? <sighs> this is probably a waste of time. I would suspect you are right. Goodbye. W w wait Rose. Hey! That's pretty good. Just guess already! What? Are you also normal? Well, I don't think it would be meaningful to apply such an adjective to a person without respect to a given attribute. For example, I am normal in that I have gray skin, but not in that I have jade blood. I must answer your question though. I would say I possess more abnormal qualities than normal ones. But, I suppose most people like to believe the same about themselves, so perhaps I'm wrong. Who are you, by the way? Uh, oh, oh, wow, okay, that's a relief. I've been growing uncomfortably certain that I was the only normal one left. My name is Rose. The fact that your name consists of only four letters is not very normal at all. The fact that you repeatedly insist that you are normal for no obvious reason makes me highly suspicious of your sanity, but... For the time being, I will attribute your quirk to a simple inferiority complex. My name is Kanaya. What? O all my friends have four letter names. There's nothing strange about that. Hmm. Oh, you're one of the humans, aren't you? I believe I'm under orders to harass you and your friends, but I haven't really gone around to it. You guys are still sticking to that story about being aliens? Yes, we are still sticking to that story about being aliens. Sorry, but... Don't you think this is a good time to stop fucking around? We need to work together to figure out what the hell is going on, although I'll put up with it if I have to. I'm just happy to know that there's still someone coherent to talk to amid this mess. What exactly is it that we need to be figuring out again? <laughs> Are they dating yet? Oh, uh, I don't know. Perhaps we start with the inexplicable infiltration of our friends and the sudden deterioration of reality itself? What the fuck? I'm beginning to reconsider my earlier judgment of your mental state. I would like to upgrade diagnosis from inferior plex to paranoid schizophrenia. I recommend scheduling an appointment with your therapist to discuss treatment options available to you, but... I am afraid I cannot be of any further assistance. Goodbye. H hold on. First of all, inferiority complex isn't a medical diagnosis. I was aware. More importantly, are you implying that you have not observed the phenomenon I previously described? Yes, I believe that was the implication. But I know this corruption has been affecting at least some of the other trolls. I've just recently talked to three of them. I haven't talked to the others yet today, but I did yesterday and I observed no infantilization whatsoever. At least none that was out of the ordinary. Well, try talking to them again. Maybe later. Uh, what about your troll tag? What about it? It's been affected, hasn't it? I don't remember what it was, but I'm almost certain it's supposed to contain an X somewhere. Oh dear, you're right. See? This must be one of Solix's pranks, although I'm not really sure what the joke is. There's a pun here, it's eluding me. But I've never been very good at detecting things like that. 
here kidding me. Well, once you realize what's going on, please contact me. Certainly. Talk to you later. leaves Grenadesis. I feel the press wrong, but they probably are by now. You don't know if that conversation made you feel less crazy or more so. Rose grabbed Nearest's weapon and escaped through the wall hole. You feel a lot more comfortable with this as a weapon. You're so handy with those needles, you feel like you could probably use them to fillet a swordfish. Rose, go outside and see if there's more to this planet than white nothingness. Looks like a long fall. Rose, don't listen to heck of Jeff's warning and fall down all those stairs. There aren't any stairs here, so simply falling will have to be enough to fulfill the meme quota for today. Rose B. Columbus. Mommy plus Jahan, slow be human and slaps human makeouts now! Okay. Fuck that. You're just going to go explore the planet or something. Mom is just trying to get to you. If you respond to it now, she wins. Actually, you doubt she's even capable of those kinds of passive-aggressive contrivances anymore. But you're getting out of here regardless. Rose, solicit profound wisdom from your friendly guide. I'm scared. Oh, hello? What are- For what purpose have I been summoned to here? Holy shit. Actually, I didn't summon you. What is your real name again? You look a lot like the legendary Bagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagagag
My picture is attractive. The picture is not interactive. The final wish is true. Click the picture. First, be for more freak. You've now a for more freak. For more freak. Ascend. Then, the determine if there's been a murder. To hunt early and told you there was no murder, but a key eyewitness has recently informed us you otherwise. It seems your son has murdered Hecken's best friend, Sweatbro, via one illegal pickaxe stabbing. You will have to add lying to Jahan's list of crimes. How much is it going to have assisted you to get to this place, which he says Jahan has escaped at, but you do not see him. You will have to do an investigate. Jahan and his co-conspirators are very dangerous, and if they continuously to resist the rest, you will maybe have to just kill them. For more react. Make up some dang lies. Okay, just a lying of a crime. Do you look like someone who would do a crime? No. For more react, become a troll. Nobody likes the kids anyways. You already blow that opportunity! Anyway, they drove not too much romance and we'll all probably all just die or something anyway. Who cares? For more react. Stop being Fedora Freak! He's stupid! You already all chose both for more war freak, so now you have to be him and put up with his bully towards for too long. So next time, think about your actions first. Thanks. For more react. Poor old gun liking cow. Like a goddamn cow pokey. That will probably not ever be relevant again. For more free and disassent. He's for more free. Yuck! What does this look like? Post catch or something? For more freak and sustenance. Oh no! It looks like new friend Gurmy got brainwashed. For more freak, interrogate Gurmy spreads. Is this one an interactive? Click to find out. Gurmy, why are you red? Dude. Cool. You can't just ask that! Sorry. You find it. Congratulations. For more free act, deputize Garmy Spritz. There's some dialogue hidden somewhere in this page. Can you find it? Do you contain any information to help the investigation? What investigation? Jahan Ebgret performed a murder on Sweatbro and makes illegal death coasters and tells lies. Then he's even worse than I thunked! He must be brought to justice! Yes. According to my new sprite brain, there is a Jahan on the land of light and Frog on the other side of Skya! What? Don't say words that aren't sense. Idiot! This is a new dimension! We're on black planet, criminals on white planet, blue planet shit in between! What? Okay, that was so easy. You won't get it next time. Some more react. Figure out where the place you are, where it is. The worms are well hidden this time. Where is this? The median! Where's that? Then Super Spear! 
Okay, thanks, that helps a lot. That was sarcasm, it doesn't actually help. Okay. Bam, you are good. But next time we'll be impossibly. For more free act, find the way off this planet. Let's give it now. How to leave. There is no leave. There is too much gravity to get away the planets, except by house building. Okay, this planet's gravity is obstructing justice. I admit defeat. But more free Knew the justice thing. For more free arrest planet. How much longer until this more free is done talking? Justice is seized. Seriously, put on some fedoras or something. Just talk. Stop talking about justice for two seconds. For more free act. As the black pine, you and your judge stinks in. Time to rationalize your contention authority. Just the code not limits. Anyone who does justice knows that. For more free act. Reveal I. Your face many a years ago in a tragic face accident. Open free act log. So now you're a sprint, you can fly. Yes! Close free log. One more free act. Put on time slide farmer with yourself. Open Gurmy log. Leave me alone! I have to take your fly powers and go arrest at John. You can't prototype in me, you don't have a warrant! Close, Gurmy Log. Don't! <laughs> oh my god. You're right. Shut me fuck up! Let's character die soon, spoiler alert. Whom have I become? I'm think of him. For more free act, look around. The planet hicking sucks, and what is that? Looks illegal! What, what, what do you look like, a bomb squad or something? For more free act, someone concerts on the blob clan and not interrogate them. Why you on this open, you donk ass? Excuse me, sir. SHIT! What? NOTHING! Okay, do you have a bug stand permit? YES! Can I see it? I LEFT IT IN ME OTHER PANTS! Oh, that is unfortunate. I have always wanted to see a bug stand permit. Finally! What will he decide? Do you want to buy a bug? Okay. Do you want the purple or blue one? <laughs> it is a mystery. Purple or blue? Purple or blue? Are you up a dude? That suspense is killing me. Um, I'm going to go to feel my hand for ages. Purple or blue? Jeremy mm -hmm. spread. Which bug should I get? Blurblur is better! Okay. Mm. I'm back! Has he decided? That one, please. Come on, you're pointing wrong! Oh, f Well, now it is too late. I pointed already. That'll be 104.13! Okay. Okay, for more free, are you literally kidding me? That's the wrong bug! 
Your wallet is missing, you plop thicken. He took it when you were not looking, the bug ruse with a mere distraction. and bears. You learned this in police training. Meanwhile, he's escaping to the side, dunk ass! My gun was not the wrong ring! That's what he needs. More guns. He will pay for his crimes. No, he won't. He got away. Are you blind? Okay, just shut the hick off. I need a gun upgrade. Maybe make with alchemy? What? The thing you did earlier with Hecka to make the big game. You can also make other things. Of cross. Thank you, Deputy Jeremy Sprit. Is there anything he does that's not shooting things he's not supposed to? more Friak. It's your pesky chum than you have, probably. You only have a serious busyness, cause justice is not a joke. Let me guess, they are going to talk about cloths. Have found myself in a strange realm. Wallet stole, all criminals out of reach. Please advise. I am in similar situation. Have you by chance become on a meteor? Negative. On large black planet, desolate apart from thieving lizards and residents of a lawnless house. Objective. Obtain adequate weaponry. Your claws are unharmed? Claws are intact. I cannot say the same. All articles of clothing have damaged in addition to body. Currently expressing sincere list condolences for your claws. Thank you! Your situation is certainly much better than mine. Be careful to avoid further damage to Clawsy. Indeed! About to busy operating mysterious technology. Maintain updates on Claw status. Me too and okay! They talk about Claws. For more freak, drink piss. You cannot do that with me a public indecency. You will only restore to this if you're not in public, and hydration reaches critical levels! For more Friac, Dabun Alchemy! You totally got this shit! Make punch card with the code, test code, and make the item! Okay, we get it! He is doing alchemy! Skip to the end of it! Next arrow! You made my gob. You made a bomb. Oops. That's incorrective now, probably. You're a gurmy sprut. You're dead. That people don't do things, chumpstick. Um. Okay? It has to be intercrackable time, I know it! Be Dave. A character who is Dave Stedrer.
Dame, try to remember where you are. You are interested to roller coaster, but in the portal and the northern to this planet where you don't know where it is, so you are lost. But you need to get back to your daddy soon, or you will be tested again as punishment. Dame, how do you flashback of chess life? You love your daddy, but you are always in trouble with him, which is fun, but... Dame, have fantasy about your daddy. I am so proud of you. You just want to be proud of you once. Dame, find your bro. Okay, so then it isn't someone who isn't alive anymore, probably, so no. Dame, put on some clothes. No, not until Daddy says so. Ew. Dame, allocate gun. Destroy Specabist. Guns greater than swords. Well, you're wrong, but there are no swords here, so... Okay, not great, only okay. Dame, line down some sick rhymes. These must be the sickest beats ever beaten. Twit go, twit go, let go, star. How I wondered what you are. Up above the word so high, like a diamond in the sky. Hey, yo, do some dick rhymes. Lyric mine, do not steal my way. I wonder what these characters have to say. Who are you? Fresh Jimmy! Oh. Teach me how to a cool rhyme! Whoa, okay, but first you have to learn ironing. What's that? Actually, I don't, because I was the one who wrote this already. Dame, explain irony to local lizard. Click the button for more ironic escapades. It is like you say or do something, but not what you mean. Something else instead. Wow, that is really cool. I, I mean, uncool, get it? I did irony too. Yes, just like that. Are those sunglasses irony? Yes. Can I give them a try on for instruction or purposes? I guess. <laughs> What's this supposed to be? Curiosity satisfied! Some kind of meme? Does that iguama even realize stealing is illegal? SUCKER! Um, dude, I haven't even taught you how to rhyme yet, asshole. You can't do things that are against the law! That is why it is a law, Idwit! Without your sunglasses, you feel naked. Dave, still living in a wallet. The guy is so rich that he needs like 20 fucking wallets or something, apparently. What a douche hug. Dame. Fuck bees. No, you're sick of being known as the bee fucker, okay? Dame. Make a sweet brown hellajuffifier camera for phonographic evidence, or maybe just for fun. Do you look like some bottle a camera and spots drawing and alchemy machines? No. They've been trolled. You don't have a computer! You don't have anything, numb nuts! Except for a computer. Wop nuts Kraken have to yell about today! Carcat Genetics is not pestering anonymous vengeance. 
You are ugly and I hate you. Delete your account. I had sex with your mom, loser. I hope you die. Too scared to talk back to me? You're pathetic, heck of Jeff. You just got pooned. Shut the fuck up. Hello? Okay. How ominous. No respond. Name limit the increased amount of dead friends. Hanka! Hear me! No! And the guy who shoot at your daddy earlier, good riddance. What is this? All as poor Hekka. I knew with him a guy of infinity funny, of good, most good imagining. He hath carried me on him back a thousand times. And now with how ungood in my brain it is, my throat goes up at it. School or something? Sex all tense and inside. Here hungeth those lips that I had kisses. I don't know with how much. Don't loom it, next page is not 18 plus. Babe, succumb to urge to smooch heck on Jeff's head. I could stay lost in this moment forever. Where every moment spent with you is a moment I treasure. Hello, Dave, you'd say. You are here to take care of him. Where he gone to? He was just here. Dave? No! You filled your mission, and your OTV is dead!